Hey guys, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are having a great day so far. Um, okay, I cannot be eating this giant puncher. Anyways. As I was saying, welcome back. Um, today we're going to be doing a like college update type of um, the the first semester already ended, so it's like I'm like rewind and like talk about my first semester in college and like my experiences. And so like I asked you guys questions on social media, Instagram and Snapchat. If you're not following me, go follow. If you're not added me, if you haven't added me. On snapchat go add me um but yeah we're gonna get started i basically asked ask me a question about my first semester in college as you guys can see oh, right there um so let's get started it says how was your experience in college different than in high school so I go to Hunter College, um, which is in the city, New York. I went to high school in the city as well. So it's actually very different in terms of like the people and the community and like just like life in general. Because I feel like in high school, you're stuck to like one certain schedule, not much freedom in between classes. Um, and of course you have time to socialize in your classes and with your friends after class But like I feel during college you have more freedom to like do a study group or like go eat after your morning class Go get some breakfast or whatever it is um, And you just get to meet more people especially like hunters like a huge <coughs> Add it all. He needs some milk class and least favorite so my favorite class would have been English because it was a class that I felt like it was very um, charged with like interesting topics that we got to choose. So we like incorporated like poetry or like art into like our class um, topics. So for example, you guys have probably heard like about the train situation, you know that there's more like cops and stuff and like they're like tracking down people who like jump the turnstile and stuff and other people who do toxic topics about like women health or um mental health and it just varied so like every person wasn't like there's only two prompts and you had to pick one or the other one um so that was like my favorite class because i'm like very politically involved i feel like and so it was a place for me to like double down on them and like talk more about it um Another question, how did you balance social life, school, and work? So I worked for like the first month of college at Staples and then I quit. Um, shouldn't have, but you know, whatever. Um, so I didn't really like have trouble managing like with work like that. But social life, um, like I said, I would hang out mostly in the library most of the time so it's like i like just was there and sometimes i would do work sometimes i wouldn't so uh yeah i didn't really like have trouble balancing that um yeah how many times did you change your hair color so i don't know if you guys can tell but like right now my hair is um is gray or silver and I've had it blonde for like at least three weeks and then I went to silver um but before that I did like pink purple I think I did blue no I did blue blue red those are the ones I can't remember but it wasn't like a lot you know because I've been like trying to cut it down to like preserve my hair um another one okay I forgot what I was saying but let me go back to a question. Oh, it was like, did I enjoy it? Did I do good? Um, did I meet good people? So I'm like, yes, I did. Because, you know, again, I can choose my group of friends. 
unlike high school you're kind of like stuck with the same people for all your classes for the whole day so this was like i get to pick my own friends um what's it like commuting so actually like i live at the tip of manhattan so in wood like the tip um and so my commute from home to hunter college was maximum one hour and i feel it's like that for a lot of students um but for me i would like for the first month or two i had trouble getting to school on time because it was like i had to take the train to another train to the bus then i would have to take four trains four transfers just to get to hunter um and then my friends were like why don't you just take the bus that goes across town because hunters in the east side and stupid I'm um craziest party memory do i want to talk about that so i basically said something i wasn't supposed to say while i was drunk but we don't talk about that that stays in the party nobody talks about that uh any um did you join any clubs no so what was your studying habit like so i don't study i have not developed a studying habit or mechanism high school did not teach me that and it's one of the things i regret but it's something that i get to realize and like i get to tell myself so that's what you work on and that's what you apply all your experiences to so it's all a working a work in progress so maybe for next semester i'll do better and like this one piece of advice that i have for you guys like don't beat yourself up for it don't like blame yourself for anything um because it's all about learning experience so college is like very fucked up in terms of like resources for students and sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do you gotta go through what you go through and keep it moving because college is like that it's not like high school like if you don't graduate in four years you don't like get your diploma ever college is like you take your time um basically again like do you think your high school prepared you well for college no uh, are you happy with the life you have now in college Honestly, I've learned to like try to like live every day to the fullest and like just not worry about tomorrow or the future. It's really hard to not to, but it's what keeps you like intact. And I feel like that's like some advice that I would give you guys is just ask yourself like, is it worth it? Is it worth worrying about? Like sometimes we just like question ourselves like, what if something happens tomorrow if like or even not that but like just with friendships it's like sometimes those things or like relationships they can throw you off so it's like sometimes you just gotta like worry about today worry about completing today worry about getting home safe worry about doing what you gotta do for the day and then that will start like keeping you occupied for the next day and it's like you just try because it's not something that's easy and it takes a lot of time but you just try and like the biggest thing is like take care of yourself of your mental health your physical health it's hard but you have to try mm, let's see how did i make friends i don't need friends they disappoint me and then from there on like my friends and I are always playing Uno in the library. People just like join, we meet them, we say hi to them, we get to know them, and that's how you make friends. What is something you wish you could have done over for the semester? Um, honestly, just like. try to do your work because if you don't try then you don't know if you did good you don't know if you did bad so as long as you try that's all that can work out and for me like i said don't beat yourself up for it 
just understand that you go through things it's part of life and it's something that eventually everybody goes through not at the same time though so you went through it another person will maybe in two years maybe in two days maybe in two months um so just remind yourself that it's not entirely your fault and that you can always do better next time let's see what he said what is one thing you wish you knew about hunter slash the classes at the beginning of the semester so one thing i knew more i wish i knew more was like that if you feel a, a re, if you feel like you're gonna fail a class you can decide to do this thing called credit no credit which i believe is something like if you pass if you fail the class you get um it doesn't show up in your transcript so it doesn't affect your gpa uh and then another thing is like the freshman forgiveness so it's like if you fail a class and you take it again like the same class in the next semester or i think in the future it removes from your transcript and it stays as a grade from the second class that you took it and it doesn't affect your gpa um but yeah i just wish like i knew more things about college just overall and like how to manage my grades and my classes and how to be more aware of it do not plan on transferring anymore no i'm gonna stay in the city i'm gonna work try to work i'm gonna like just stay focused i feel like the cities or like the place you live in is always the safest option for you because it's like it's a safe place and there's a lot of resources especially in new york city there's a lot of things that you can like do and achieve and like go for and it's more like accessible rather than other places like upstate or out of the city and I guess I'm gonna just end with this like last question which is what was your favorite thing about college um so my favorite thing about college was honestly the experience for the first semester it's like just taking things slow because obviously it's your first time and everything that's always first a first it's gonna be new it's gonna be hard but at the end of the day it's gonna be worth it because you're gonna learn from those experiences and you're gonna learn how to manage your time and learn how to manage your own health and like learn a lot from it whoa um, learn a lot from it and like take what you went through apply for the future and just remind yourself like stay in track take care of yourself so like I feel like those things I didn't worry about in high school because I wasn't as independent now I am and it's like if you fail you failed that's on you if your friends failed they failed that's on them but you guys can like help each other out and you guys can like grow together so like that is like super important like growing together with your friendships making great friendships it's like super cute and my friendship she got it at Barnes & Noble so like you guys can find it there it's like really cute and then the inside it's like little like journal um prompts that help you reflect and you can like look at it from the beginning of the year to the end of the year and it's like really empowering but um so my the video kind of ended early oops i mean oops bye see you next time don't forget to give it a thumbs up comment down below and subscribe and that button right there <laughs>